and a personality probably all his own. But uh, you know what? After the first six, seven months, my parents kind of put it to the side and knew that for the sake of their kids, they better talk to each other, they better be nice, and ever since that day, they've been, they've been great. Like most island kids, soccer was really the only sport that crossed Roni's mind. That is, until an afternoon talk with his father. I was 14 years old, came home from a soccer practice. My dad told me, Roni, uh, you too tall to play soccer. Um, I want you to go try out for basketball. He just got to the point where he was so tall and lanky, I think that it was hard to, hard to be a soccer player. And I'm like, well, I don't really like it, I don't want to. And I'm there, I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm just going through the motion, just trying to follow guys and stuff like that. But what Roni didn't know was that someone was carefully watching. The French are really smart. They, they go throughout their country and to any other country that's affiliated with them, and they find basketball players and, and award them scholarships or, or pay for them to become great basketball players. And, and they found Roni in the middle of Martinique. And I'm like, is it a, is it a joke? Is that April's full? Because I don't know why you guys want me, because I just started playing basketball. I was stupid at the time. I felt like, oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to go away from mom and dad. No discipline or whatever. And I'm going to be able to provide for them eventually in the long run. Next thing you know, I'm pretty down. I want to go back home. It's too cold in Paris for me. I want to see my mom. I made a pretty stupid decision. Stupid or not, Roni decided Paris would be the next place he called home. And that decision would change his life. To pick up and leave your whole family in thousands and thousands of miles away, fly to a huge city in Paris that's bigger than the whole country that he grew up in, and to be on your own at 14. It was like going away to college in a foreign country when he should have been in seventh or eighth grade. I mean, I really loved college life. Ooh. After four years in Paris, it was clear Roni Turioff had honed his skills and wanted to play at the next level. But as is usually the case, most recruiters would come and go. However, one recruiter was there from the beginning. I heard there was this young, live.